Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Big Dem just hauled out in handcuffs from TX Immigration Center after flying across the country. The 2018 elections are just around the corner, and Democrats are doing everything in their power to get elected. They're even using children to push their campaigns and get donations. Up until a month ago, the Democrats have ignored the Obama era executive order that separated families at the border. Not once has any Dem spoke out against Barack Obama. Now that Donald Trump is president, they're hoping to score political points by putting all the blame on the Republicans as well as the president. How sad is that? This doesn't surprise anyone seeing how Democrats have always used a crisis to push their political agenda. Rahm Emanuel once said you never let a serious crisis go to waste. And what I mean by that it's an opportunity to do things you think you could not do before. Disgusting right? Nothing seems to surprise us anymore. If Hillary Clinton were the president right now, the news media would be celebrating how well these children are being treated, and would probably give her the Nobel Peace Prize for sheltering and feeding these children as they blindly ignore the separation part. Democrats have been flocking to the border demanding these children be reunited with their families, and released back into the wild. The only problem is, many of these children do not have families. They've been sent to America by themselves while their families stayed back in Mexico or South America. Austin, Texas Mayor Steve Adler headed down to Tornillo with a group of liberal mayors to demand the children be let go. What Adler didn't know was back in Austin, the drug cartels were actively using children to smuggle drugs in and out of the state. Maybe he does know, and is waiting to use it against Texas Governor Greg Abbott for political points? You never know when it comes to Democrats. Maine's Democratic nominee for U.S. Senate was arrested outside a detention center in Texas on Friday morning for refusing to leave the premises after being told he was not allowed in. The nominee, Zach Ringelstein, announced Wednesday that he was traveling to McAllen, Texas, to deliver personal items, including toys, books and blankets to the immigrant children currently being held there. A Facebook Live video, which contains the arrest, shows Ringelstein waiting outside the center, being told he cannot go in and then arguing with Border Patrol agents in the parking lot. Ringelstein told the border agents that he believes, without going into the facility, that the children are being deprived of water, books, blankets, and other essential items. There are other organizations that we've been working with that you can provide them with those items, legally we cannot accept them into our facility, a female agent informed Ringelstein. The agent told him, and for all the public that's watching, that he can deliver the items to churches and other organizations that the facility works with, but legally cannot deliver them at the center. If you truly, in your heart, want to deliver this, that's the way to get them this," she said. As dozens of more police officers and Border Patrol agents show up, the agent accused Ringelstein of impeding their operations by loitering in the parking lot. She pointed to the myriad of cop cars in the lot that had since arrived and told Ringelstein that now those cops are not able to work on other issues including rescues and responding to car crashes. You are literally imprisoning children here. So let's think about the equivalency of that," Ringelstein said. Ringelstein claimed an agent told him to move his car because he was blocking the way for the car to drop off prisoners. Are we really talking about children? Are we actually calling them prisoners now? Is that under your enforcement that they're called prisoners?" Ringelstein asked. We do have people that are under arrest, she replied. A man sitting next to Ringelstein then asked what they were under arrest for, to which the Border Patrol agent replied, for illegally entering the country, they have broken the law. This is a country of laws is it not? She said. Ringelstein asked the agent if she would put her own children in jail. If they broke the law, they would have to face the consequences. They know that, she said. The spat continued, as the agent asked Ringelstein who is currently representing Maine. Ringelstein said he didn't want to talk about it and asked what that had to do with anything. You say you're trying to get the word out, the media is out there, the media has visited, people who are actually in their positions have visited and are continuing to visit," the agent said. We open the doors for them, people who write the laws and can be here. The general public cannot. The man next to Ringelstein asked why they can't take pictures from inside the facility. Because there are children in there that we need to protect, she responded. We're protecting the privacy of the people we have in detention. Ringelstein referred to the centers as Trump's internment camps as he is eventually handcuffed by police officers. Zach is now a political prisoner of the Trump regime, a tweet from his personal Twitter page reads, which was also live-tweeting the situation.
He is currently being held in a Texas jail on suspicion of criminal trespass, a Class B misdemeanor that could result in up to six months in county jail and a $2,000 fine, according to another tweet on his account. Ringelstein is a former public school teacher running against incumbent independent Senator Angus King. Daily Caller That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.